Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad for my six children. And today, this seems to be laggy. Anyway, today we are going to go inside, go over some what solds. But we just got back from an estate sale where I spent $35 on the things in this bag. And uh, I didn't get a lot of footage at the estate sale, so we'll go over this once you guys see what footage I did get at the estate sale. And then Evelyn said she wanted to try to go to Goodwill today, and I'm not hard to convince. So maybe we'll do that too. Let's get into the video. So it's Friday at 8.30 a.m. and I don't have enough battery power to make a huge video out of this estate sale, but I'm going to try to go to an estate sale with two girls. So we'll see what happens. Libby's first time going to a yard sale. Gotcha! Just a whole lot of common kitchen glass stuff, but I think I like this for our house well enough to pay 10 bucks for it. Bunch of, this is like they cleared the garage out that because that's the door to the garage it. and it's blocked. <laughs> Record cleaning stuff new in the package. That's probably cool for two bucks. Five dollars a piece on records. But I mean, Stanley Kubrick, Buddy Holly. It's not like they're nothing. <laughs> Sweaters are two dollars. There's Evelyn and there's Ruby. Hats are four dollars, and there's like a foot joy and tailor made, but they're four dollars. I'm not paying four dollars for hats. And but you love hats. I do love hats. So at four dollars, these Tevas, Teva, will oh, have a 33% sell through rate in February. That's probably only going to go up as it gets warmer. So four dollars, these are probably a $25 pair of sandals. So many pulse ox machines, and some of these can be really valuable. So I'm going to look them up. Yeah, probably not good to touch the scissors a when you're little. Ruler. Bunch of used stuff, a and bunch of new stuff. And some new stuff. Yep. Lots of books. Books are three dollars each. That's a little steep, generally. You were the so that estate sale was kind of exactly what I expected it to be. A little bit overpriced, but not run by a company that um, is gonna expect huge traffic and overly exorbitantly priced things but also it's in a like affluent neighborhood where all the houses are 25 years old so it's not like you're gonna find a whole lot of vintage coolness it's just old people in a house that was their retirement house and they probably didn't move their kids Atari in with them you're not finding treasures in the attic in these neighborhoods. So, um, uh, we found some stuff. Uh, we'll make some money. And then Evie's like, can we go to Goodwill? And Goodwill is not open when we get home from dropping Jude off at school. But it is open now because we spent like 40, no, not even that long. We spent like a half an hour in that estate sale. So, uh, now Goodwill is open. Maybe we'll run down there and see what they're like on a Friday morning as soon as they open. Well, they're not very open. That says Monday through Friday, 10 a.m., which is new daylight savings hours. So I guess we're not going to Goodwill this morning. Feels like a lot less stuff sitting here looking at it now that I got at that estate sale for 35, but there's definitely money. So this is the keep stuff. I paid 10 bucks for this, but my wife loves to bake. Paid two dollars for this pulse ox, a dollar for these lightning cables to charge iPhones, and four dollars for this uh, chapstick that Evelyn has chronically dry skin and chapped lips a lot, and so she likes to have lipstick. And those are high quality; they'd be reasonably expensive to buy, and they were there to get help her get something, you know. So four bucks for her to get quality chapstick for her poor lips easy decision for dad and then the things that we bought to sell shoes were four dollars a piece so these tevas which are actually in really nice shape are uh probably 25 dollars plus shipping but the it'll take them probably two months to sell these audio technica 
this is uh just shy of a hundred percent sell through rate brand new it's from 2004 but it's not like this liquid is run out of it um and that's for cleaning records this is for cleaning records and it's probably 15 dollars with like a 70 ish percent sell through rate these i never pass up these old razor phones i had one of these i absolutely loved it mine was red this one's silver it's so cool it still feels really good in your hand um but this was back when you had to do C, A, T to do cat, to text somebody cat. There's texting on these things was an art. Uh, anyway, these are worth something as a collectible. Not a lot, but I paid a dollar for it. I don't leave them behind most of the time. Probably 15-ish dollars. These I didn't know anything about, but if these were at my local Goodwill, they'd have been 15 or 20 bucks. So I was like, for four bucks, I'm not even gonna comp them. They don't need cleaned at all. They're in beautiful condition. So so these are crazy because like, there's very little sales velocity on them. And I paid $4 and they might be 22 plus free shipping. Not a great pickup. Took me a while to find anything on them. You guys can probably hear Ruby fussing. So we'll get over to the rest of it in a minute. So we are back at Goodwill trying to see What's up? That's a nice looking hat. I think we're going to grab that unless it's overpriced. Oh, sorry. Let me look at these hats. 310. It's not great. St. Paul. Busters. Cardinals. Blank. Nope, just that one. is where we found ramen pants, which is kind of why we're in here. I don't see them now. So these are $15, which feels like a lot to pay for boots. But Durango is a really good brand. They're in really good shape. And somebody would not be put down. So I'm doing this one-handed with the phone and one-handed with the baby. And they're 11 double E. So 11 double E is a really, really good size. How about $4.10 for this uh, stir crazy and this dodgeballs for the boys. And then this sweater, I think I was on the fence about, but I think I'm gonna put back. We found our thumb, so we're settling in. Maybe, maybe not. But I found a whole bunch of stuff that I wasn't able to show you. We gotta go get the boys from school. I'll tell you the total. And we'll look at it in a minute. So apart from these glasses on my face that were a dollar and fifty cents, I got this really sick Nautica patchwork. Like uh, these boots that you saw, they were fifteen. I did show you the stir crazy. I will bring you your book. Evelyn got a Paw Patrol book. Found this for the kids. New in box dodgeball. Uh, this Carhartt was $8, but it's really nice pullover, size large, safety orange. Um, new and packaged Skylander I didn't know anything about. Some markers and pens that were $1.50 that I can use. This is the Nike hat that we found when we first went in. It looks like an older tag. I might have been fooled. This I didn't have time to mess with, <clears throat> so I just got it at $3.10. We'll see if it's worth anything. This sweater that I pulled when we first came up, it is Eddie Bauer made in Hong Kong. Probably a good piece. This Ford, or no, Chevy Corvair. It's loose in there. Uh, I suspect that's a really good piece. It's either really, really good or just hot trash, but it feels too heavy to be hot trash. This has sold comps as high as like $60. Um, Chris Scott, Raphael, made in the U.S., size XL, golfers. That has sold comps in the $60 range. And that Tris Scott I have had before, so I was familiar with the brand enough to be like, I think that's something. And the pattern is fantastic. Yeah. Are you excited about your book? Yeah. What are we going to go do now? Go get water. 
somebody is not having a good day. So mission find Stacy some ramen pants was not a success. These look ridiculous. I thought they'd look good, they don't. Um, but the uh, overall the trip was pretty good. Those Durango boots should be fantastic. Uh, I'm curious about the Corvair. You guys probably already know. I'm sneezing my head off, so I'm editing the video. Um, and the uh, sweaters, the Nautica sweater, Nautica's not a great brand, but that pattern carries that. And then the uh, Tricot St. Raphael is a good brand uh, in moderation, but that really good pattern on it should take that real far. Um, I don't know about the Eddie Bauer one. Maybe it was a bad pickup. And I also don't know about the Carhartt one. Um, my Carhartt pullover is my favorite sweatshirt, but I don't know if that translates into being worth $25 for somebody else. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I think that's where we're going to end the video. Well, no, we haven't even done what's sold today. Today's been weird, man. Let's go look at what's sold. So I spent $66 all total at the uh, store uh, because I had a $10 gift card. So, um, I mean, I got a lot of pieces for $66. bucks. we will see uh, what of that stuff makes money. What that stuff comps out at. Those boots... Like there are six listed just like that. The lowest comp is $75, but there are none listed in that size or none sold in that size. There are uh, two that are listed that are sold like double E's, but they're like eight and a half double E, which is weird. So the board game probably wasn't a great pickup. Um, horror board games tend to do really, really well. So I thought I'd take a $3 gamble and it's probably 15-ish dollars. It would be 25 plus shipping if it was brand new. So maybe I open it up and it's never been taken apart and I call it new open box. But otherwise it wasn't a great pickup, but I would recommend that you comp horror themed board games almost every time. So your boy did okay on this cause this was upside down where it says the Franklin Mint four dollars and ten cents um i was like oh what is this from who made this thing boom the franklin mint it says it's a 60 chevy corvair but it doesn't say what year the actual model was made i don't have the box box but this display case is pretty balling so i think this is probably a 40 or 60 dollar so this was supposed to be the what solds for just yesterday, but uh, as it's happening at the end of the night, feels like it's gonna be for today and yesterday. We ended up with 18 orders for $513. And I'm gonna go as quick as I can. John Lavoit, uh, paid 10 bucks for this. I got two of them, 10 bucks a piece. That sold for uh, $33 free shipping. Uh, both of them sold in a day or day and a half. Uh, this PS2 uh, Slim box is one that I've just had sitting around forever. And I have yet to find the right model number. See, a lot of PlayStations there will look just exactly the same but have a different model number. I've yet to find that model number working. And I'm like, hey, I'm just going to get rid of that box. It's sold for $20 free shipping. Illinois all over print tourism gas station thing. I think this is a really neat shirt. Um, it sold for $16.99 <laughs> plus shipping. Buyers all in at uh, 23 something. And look right there in the heart. There's Peoria. That's where I am. Anyway, um, why I'm laughing at this shirt is because I had a similar one that was the band Chicago from like 1993 on a Winterland tag, but it, it was a Chicago map and it sold for 20. Uh, and not that I'm bitter or irritated about that at all. Uh, PS1. 
that's it. That box of games that I showed you guys that had hundreds of games in it. This is the last ones. A bunch of PlayStation 1 games sold for $36 free shipping. And they're like, they're just junk. Uh, I think Tars, Disney's Tarzan movie, You'll Be In My Heart, Phil Collins, was the most expensive game in the whole set. We went to Helping Hands and paid $1.00. For some spectacle eyeglasses, Nike branded, pretty good sell-through rate on them. They ended up selling for $25 free shipping. Really nice deal there. $13.50 plus shipping. I have had this for a long time, like way too long even. And it says five different phrases. It's a alarm clock that is Mater. Super neat thing, original cars. I would have thought that it, I would still look at that on a shelf and say, oh, that's gotta be worth some money. I would be wrong about that. Um, we picked up all those tools, cobalt tools, circular saw, $34 free shipping. And that's not gonna be cheap or easy to ship, but it's not gonna be too bad. And that's just where the market was. I thought it would be worth more. And I almost kept the whole set because that wasn't worth more. But I sold the batteries for $125. I paid $50 for the whole thing. I sold the batteries for $125. I sold that for $35. I sold the uh, reciprocating saw for $35. I sold the drill. I sold the drill for $25. I think the only thing I have left is the flashlight. And it's like $16 or $17. But we made our money on that. Now, this one, you guys tell me what you would do, because I listed this for what I thought was $24 free shipping, and then it sold pretty quickly for $2 free shipping. I have literally almost nothing into it, uh, and I thought about just shipping it and saying, that's my mistake, I'll eat my loss. I've also thought about canceling the order, because that'll sell really fast for $24 plus shipping, or free shipping. Um, and obviously a person who looks at that and says $2 free shipping, like that's an unreasonable thing to expect to find, but it's my mistake. I don't know. I'll probably just eat it and ship the guy the stuff, but, uh, not fun. Uh, this is Skymax. It's a generic knockoff of, uh, Transformers, but I think it's still Takara which is the Japanese company that made. Um, anyway, uh, this was a retro truckload sale thing. Sold for $11 plus shipping. These sold for $450 plus shipping. It's an insert from the Atari ET game. Crystal Castles, which was my favorite game on Atari. Uh, a baseball for Intellivision. No, this is for Atari. That, um, uh, Networks, M Networks is uh, sometimes ColecoVision. This is a ColecoVision uh, registration cards for games when you got them, and then Outer Space Manual. They're, Atari games and manuals aren't worth much, but I hate to throw them away. So I had this listed for like $5.99, and somebody came in with an offer of $4.50. And if so that can do somebody some good for... Ten dollars and fifty-seven cents. That's awesome. Car hearts that we picked up just the other day at the old Goodwill. We paid seven dollars. They paid me seventeen fifty plus shipping. Buyers all in at twenty-eight dollars and nineteen cents. Those sold in you know a day and a half. This is on a table. The picture online is taken on a table that I of uh that got left at the house we moved out of two years ago $18 plus shipping buyers all in at 31 it's like camo vintage real tree camo very thin coveralls in a men's size large regular so I would have suspected those would do a lot better than to sit around for two years I was wrong. 
or maybe there's a problem with the listing that I didn't realize. The toaster that we picked up that same day as we picked up those uh, Lavoie filters, both of which sold, and we picked up the uh, the solution that I was supposed to list for $24 and I listed for $2. Uh, TFAL uh, sold $43. Uh, free shipping. I paid a dollar approximately, probably not even the whole dollar. Uh, this I listed way too cheap, evidently. Cleveland, Ohio, privacy, private waste hauler, like a garbage truck from Cleveland in 1984. Um, list, I got this on whatnot for $3 and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping in minutes of being listed. Um, the VCR, Blue Line Panasonic, Blue Line VCRs. I don't know, I feel like there are other companies that have that Blue Line. Those are, that is indicative of one you wanna comp for sure. Panasonic, I paid four, five dollars for it, maybe six, sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Look at all this plus shipping. You guys don't even know whose channel you're watching with all this plus shipping. Uh, face savers. Paid a dollar and 84 cents at Goodwill just the other day. These are just vintage, made in the U.S. I have no idea how old they are. Sold for $24.99 free shipping. We paid $2 two days ago. And this I literally picked up today for 4 bucks. Sold for 19 free shipping. Same day. Um, that's the whole kit and the whole caboodle. Uh, and I think this video has been long enough. So I'm going to let you go at this point. I'm going to get all this stuff packed up, see how much stuff I can get listed. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like the video or leave a comment or both. Thanks, guys.